Hey! Hey! Wow, it's hard to see you over the hedges there. A little bit. Yeah, I mean, I have to like go sideways. Look at that. <laughs> it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Hi! Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Are you okay, Matt? I'm Ashley. And I'm Patrick. And we're the Fitzsimmons family. We've been together for uh, six years and we've been married for five years. We just want the house to feel more like us. Right now, it just feels very builder beige is really kind of how we've been describing it. And we'd want it to be more our style. So how much do we have to spend on this project? Around 300. Okay, so we can do a lot with that. Yeah. What are you guys thinking for out here that needs to be done? What do you like? What do you want to change? The beige, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like we're living in a land of beige. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of builder beige going on. All yeah. The builder place. beige. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you like the craftsman style of house? Do you want to keep yes. that? I would love to really lean into that and make it more of a custom craftsman style home. <laughs> so this is a very wide, long entryway. Very big hallway. Okay, what do you like? What do you don't like about it? I don't really like anything. Okay, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell because the you were like, eh, okay. It doesn't have enough storage. That, that's yeah. the big thing. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Going to the ceiling with that would be great. Yeah, you're missing some space there for sure. Okay. The, the black is not our favorite. Okay. I love white countertops and uh, navy blue for a pop of color. Oh, okay. Like navy blue cabinets. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love yeah. that. That's fun. So the plan for your kitchen, we're going to have new flooring throughout. New cabinets, new countertops, new appliances, new backsplash. We're gonna have a nice island that you can sit at. New lighting, perfect. I uh, have a big sound system that, that shakes the walls. When, I love uh, it. When we oh. got it going. Oh, when it's like So an this action. is his pride yeah. and joy. So uh, as we have friends over to, to watch movies and really there's only one good seat in right. the entire place. What about the fireplace? You guys use the fireplace? We have never we used never the used fireplace. Used it. <laughs> Really? No, really. I'm afraid oh. I'm going to blow up the house. <laughs> OK. Oh, OK. Yeah, well, that's not good. It's not something that we're eager to get rid of. But if they can find a better use for that space, then I'd like to see what it is. We could always, this is a nice focal wall. I mean, it's one of the things you see right when you walk in. And so you want it to be something that you really like and really care about. But I do want this whole first floor area to feel really consistent and cohesive. So. The living room's gonna have the same flooring and we'll figure out what to do with the fireplace. We'll paint, new lighting, and reconfigure furniture so that you can fit more people. Yay. Awesome. You are gonna love this space up here. How big is it up there? Big as this garage, 20 by 20 or... Cool. So if we use that space, you can't enter this. from here. This is nuts. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so maybe uh -huh. move this door around the corner. Uh -huh. So it's still a coat closet. And then our staircase went up and then turned oh. into the upstairs right over the garage. OK, <laughs> so let's talk about this upstairs. So do you, what do you guys need? A movie room would be really awesome. I was just thinking how <laughs> you guys can use that space for a movie room. That'd be That's so what I'm talking about. That's a good about. idea. That's what you guys do. You could have like cool, oh my gosh, that'd be so fun. You could have like a really cool <laughs> movie room up there. You know, when this house was constructed, it was builder grade. And so it doesn't really fit with Patrick and Ashley's personality or style. This door can probably just roll around the corner right there and I still have a coat closet okay. right there. I'm going to eat into the height of the garage, about two and a half feet. We're gonna go up into the garage and we're gonna blow that ceiling and knock that ceiling out and then we'll figure the height. What it will do is allow me to have a little bit shorter staircase. It'll give the Fitzsimmons a little bit more headroom up in their mm -hmm. movie space. Yeah. Everyone wins. And but it'll still be plenty tall for a car or anything. Oh, it'll still be 11, 12 foot tall. Tub is out. The sink, the vanities are out. OK. okay. The kitchen is completely out. We are ready to start framing in the new floor system. It's gonna be completely different, and I can't wait. This looks good, Tim. I can't believe how much extra space you guys got. That's a big room. 460 square feet. We were thinking like three to 400. Yeah. This is huge. Kicking out that 
craftsman looking mm -hmm. shed dormer on the front is game changing. Yeah. It's such a big space. It turned out so cool. Tim and I are wrapping up the trim up in their movie space. That should be the last piece. All right. Over the last few weeks, the Fitzsimmons home has really started to take shape and look like a home for Ashley and Patrick, and not just a builder grade home. We painted the home a green gray that Jenny pulled from a Craftsman historical palette and then replaced the front door with a fade resistant fiberglass door. And the new arbor also gives the home a more Craftsman feel. And inside, the kitchen tile and paint are almost done. The updated stone fireplace mantle is up. We are wrapping up the lights. The custom steel stair railing is in, while upstairs, the new theater room is starting to come together. You made me a little short. We're adding the finishing touches to the exterior with updated landscaping and a more welcoming set of front steps. We've got that unique patterned subway tile wrapping up in the main bath. Wallpaper is going up in the main bedroom to give the space character. And it complements the soft blue wainscoting we painted in honor of Ashley's love of blue. And upstairs, the theater room is almost done. We have theater style carpet squares going down and an AV system going in that'll give Patrick and Ashley a true theater experience in the comfort of their own home. This house, the way it has come together is totally different. There's nothing not to love. It is not the same house. So amazing up here. Mm. I love it. I'm a little nervous because we went bold, but it's completely craftsman now. Mm -hmm. It's also very crisp and clean and bright and cheery. All right, perfect. Just really feels warm and welcoming, which yep. is what they really wanted. And we really made it their home together and took it from builder grade to custom. We got Done. it. My oh, gosh, wow. oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. Awesome. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh, oh, wow. oh my God. That is amazing, guys. Oh my God. How's it going? How's it going? Oh my God. So good. Come on, check it out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Well, it's completely different. Love the color. Remember, you couldn't see your front porch before. <laughs> Remember, you had to turn sideways? Yes. <laughs> what is this called above the, the garage door? It's a little arbor that Dave built. And we added some trim detail to the beams and really bulked them out, expanded the dormer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I love the floors. And the stairs. That's pretty, right? It's so pretty. I love the white and the wood. It's gorgeous. It's very modern yeah. and clean, but so warm. And it's crazy that you guys used to have this giant long hall entryway. And now it feels like these stairs, this is where they were supposed to be. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I know we talked about potentially going blue and I was a little scared, but now that I see it, it looks amazing. It feels so much bigger in here, doesn't it? Isn't it, it crazy? Does. So we just pushed the um, pantry back a little bit. Yeah, oh look. my gosh, yes. A full pantry. You still wow. have a full pantry. It's just, it yes. doesn't come out to here where you can see all the way to the back of the house. And you don't need it to come out to there. No. We were always stepping in it. I mean, we went all the way to the ceiling with the cabinets. You have all the storage underneath the island yes. as well, on this side and the other side. So with the same footprint, it's just so much more open. And then of course you still have a breakfast nook here. Right. So you still can have a little table, you can have people sitting at the island, you can have folks hanging out in the living room. Like it just really is a nice space uh, for the two of you and for entertaining. I'm excited. <laughs> I am so excited. I think it's gonna be really fun. I mean, I would be too. This is space that didn't exist. So I hope, I hope we got something that you love. <laughs> My gosh. Wow. <laughs> this was our attic. This is incredible.
Amazing. There's a now showing Mr. and Mrs. Fitzsimmons on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> Dave did build these little marquees because you have storage here for your movies. Oh my gosh. Have tons of movies. You gotta go check that one out. And then yeah, go, go check that, out. that one. Okay. You can just pull on the top of that. Patrick, we wanted all of the very best equipment, so you have a <laughs> literal movie theater. Oh my um, gosh. That is really going to be shaking the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> So Dave and I actually went to the movie theater downtown and did some recon, <sighs> and we knew we needed the right lighting. So when everything's dark in here, you can have the stars twinkling and you have a little bit of ambient light, but you still have this amazing screen, amazing speaker system. There are literally speakers and subs everywhere. And then Dave built this little platform so that if you do have friends over, everyone can be sitting here and you can still see the screen. And these are like real movie chairs. They really <laughs> are. This is like right out of the theater. Let you guys get to it. Let you guys have a movie night. You know, it's really cool when everything works out, when their ideas and our vision come to life in the house. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. You know, there's a lot of houses that actually have weird dead spaces that can be turned into living space. I feel like this one was one that I agonized over a little bit more than normal because was his house. And I wanted to make sure it felt yeah. like their house and it felt like them as a couple. And I think that watching them both take it in. I can see that we accomplished that. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Amazing. We are so thankful that Dave and Jenny took our house and made it into the perfect home for us. I couldn't have imagined anything better.